Hey Alpha fam, welcome back to another episode of Alpha Commission. Today on Alpha Commission, of course, we're going to go over that kind of uh, Darth Maul candle and the uh, bounce on the Bitcoin chart. Of course, we are bouncing at some critical areas that I did point out in the last episode where I did suggest that, uh, you know, this distributive... Uh, you know, a top here could play around with the two-week critical level and the a candle's critical level. Now, it's not surprising to see bulls try to push price action back up above that a two-week critical level uh, as we do have approximately nine to ten days before uh, they have to close above that level to stay bullish on the two-week chart. Of course, uh, that isn't definitive of, you know, the entire market, but but it is going to be one of the uh, most important uh, macro tests coming up. And so a rejection at this two-week critical level or even a, a higher bounce above it and then to lose it once again would just be a sign of weakness out of this structure, uh, which would suggest a continuation uh, to the downside. But again, we have uh, over a week to recapture this level at uh, 26000 900 let's just say 27,000 to be safe and of course uh, you know currently uh, we're getting a little bit of a, a kind of a price you know price action battle right at the candles critical level that I did suggest which was 26 524 now you guys may know my philosophy on this uh, I don't consider that we've lost a level if uh, you know we're just hanging on it like a little monkey right like swinging you know, swinging from uh, branch to branch, right? So, uh, you know, there's this little alpha monkey and he's just swinging on the level. Yeah, his tail is wa uh, wagging down here. He's got his legs all, you know, flailed out. And uh, But uh, overall, uh, you can see that uh, the arms are still grabbing onto the level. And so this little alpha monkey, you know, he's just trying to like hang on for dear life on this critical level that I did mention in the last episode. So we haven't technically lost it yet uh, by my evaluation, and that's why you're seeing this kind of uh, front running of this far more, uh, you know, a critical level uh, down here where we can see some uh, pretty hefty support, uh, you know, with this wick over here, this wick over here, this wick over here, this area over here. And so this is going to be kind of our first major backup zone, should we? end up just uh, losing that uh, level, that uh, candle's critical level that the uh, alpha monkey is swinging on. And, uh, you know, so it's not that big of a drop, but he just wasn't ready uh, to let go yet, which does suggest that there could be some shenanigans going on in this market as uh, the uh, monkey's tail there did front run uh, that to 25,000, you know, we can just call it 300, okay? So, uh, guys, uh, if the monkey lets go and we drop down onto that 25,300, then, you know, we can uh, talk about if we're going to uh, go lower. Uh, but right now, we are just hanging on to those critical levels that I did uh, suggest in the last episode. So I hope you're all staying safe, Alpha Fam. And, uh, you know, this market just keeps having uh, spikes to the upside, spikes to the downside, spikes to the upside, spikes to the downside. And they just keep trying to liquidate everyone uh, in both directions. So please uh, be careful if you are in leveraged uh, positions. Uh, now, how can we uh, take a look at this? Well, I did show you that... Uh, we did have this uh, trend, if I zoom out a little bit, uh, you can see that we're just doing the uh, whole uh, sine wave tour of that trend uh, to the upside. And so if we do end up coming down to that 24 uh, to $25,000 level, and if the alpha monkey lets go there, then of course, uh, you know, we would be looking for a potential bounce in that area, assuming that we weren't just front run and that we don't just go from here, uh, because front running is a real thing and it does uh, happen quite often uh, in the uh, Bitcoin markets. But let's just assume that that's, uh, not happening, then, um, you know, we would expect for the monkey to let go, uh, just kind of playing around with this area, maybe putting in a little accumulation. And if this thing is still bullish, then we take that next shot, maybe getting rejected at the middle and trying again, and then eventually pushing up to this 35 
to $36,000 level, maybe 34, okay? Just uh, this this area up here, that's what I would expect for us eventually uh, to get before we can talk about any potential breakouts uh, higher. And so guys, you can see that I'm still retaining some bullishness in my voice. I haven't given up yet. The alpha monkey is still fighting, still grabbing support, still doing whatever he can do uh, to try to push up. But uh, pullbacks are perfectly healthy. Uh, we did it here and we pushed up. 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 And hey, you know, we did it here and we pushed up. And hey, if we do it again, you know, hey, maybe we can still push up. And the bears just are going to get decimated once again guys um i do want to just mention that of course if we lose this area then uh, we're gonna have to talk about those deeper retracements and you know potentially a 21 to 22k is going to be our first stop and then uh, you know that kind of 18 to 20k is going to be a big test if not uh, double bottoming on this chart or lower depending on how the stock market goes and all those other macro factors that we just can't fully predict uh, right now. Now, I did want to give a reinterpretation of this channel because yes, this has been working beautifully. And as I mentioned, you know, we were testing the bottom of that channel. It looked like here, it looked like over here, right? And so uh, there was a high likelihood that we would drop down. I did mention that in a yesterday's episode. But, um, you know, we also uh, want to give, um, you know, kind of the uh, downward, the downward channel that we're also starting to form here, uh, some type of uh, credibility, because let's just say that we were done with this channel to the upside, and now we're starting to carve a channel to the downside. It didn't really happen here, okay? But, uh, you know, maybe it could be happening here, right? We just have to be clever little alpha monkeys and try uh, to imagine both possibilities uh, because we don't want to be, uh, you know, one of those idiots just uh, holding the bags while everyone else is dumping on us. So uh, let's just get rid of that uptrend. And now, uh, you know, bear with me and just uh, suspend disbelief of your bullishness for just a moment. And let's take a look at some uh, potential bear channel, okay? The bear channel here. Well, if we zoom in, then you can see that uh, basically all of the critical levels uh, that I was looking for um, you know, that I would look for in a channel have been hit by this uh, reimagination uh, that I just, uh, you know, came up with last night. And uh, what you can see is just the sine wave here, right? We're doing the whole tour kind of thing again. Got a little bit of that uh, mid-channel action here. Retested the top, got some mid-channel action, came down to the bottom. Now we got a nice bounce off the bottom, okay? Like we had a nice bounce off the bottom here, had a little bit of mid-channel action there. And so guys, uh, what could happen off of this bounce uh, when you see this uh, very strong um, wick that we did put in uh, right down here, okay? It, to me, that says uh, buy pressure, okay? That's, that's people buying, all right? Now it's not the... Not the end-all be-all of this uh, downtrend. Potentially, we could have more to go should we lose, uh, you know, these uh, critical areas that I've been talking about, All right? Should we not be able to hang on here? Uh, what would that suggest? It would suggest that we could eventually fall into this lower channel, which was defined by this area over here. Now, uh, if you're having a hard time uh, visualizing that, just let me extend this area back here. You can see that all, this whole entire area was essentially bouncing between uh, these two yellow zones. And then it basically had its own kind of little mid-channel. And so what I would expect is if we fall down, we have some type of complex uh, price action, you know, and then eventually work our way uh, to this $24,000 area, or maybe we front run it, right? And, uh, you know, maybe that 25 actually ends up being supportive, but you can't see this whole big zone here would probably uh, give us some complexity in this area. And then we could try to bounce. And if we lose that, right, then uh, it's going to get uh, much more problematic uh, for the chart. Uh, because uh, probably we're just going to fall straight down here. Then we're going to try this level and then some complexity over here, 
uh, which is the diagonal of that level that we would have tested horizontally. And, uh, you know, losing that, you know, it could be actually a pretty scary uh, drop, uh, you know, almost straight down. You just look at this, you know, it's very vertical. And uh, this could take us to uh, 20,000, even uh, that uh, 17 and a half thousand. OK, so this would be the uh, series of steps that we might take to the downside um, if we just want to uh, suspend our disbelief uh, momentarily and uh, put on our bear caps. But uh, again, Alpha Fam, currently we're doing exactly what I hoped what we would do, which is uh, hang on to those critical levels. And I'm just not going to be bearish until uh, the Alpha Monkey not only lets go, but then loses this uh, diagonal platform and uh, really gets embedded into this diagonal over here and this kind of a lower a uh, horizontal channel as well. So guys, that's my reimagination for you. Now, uh, if we want to say, uh, you know, how could we get bullish? Well, we could easily imagine, uh, you know, coming up here uh, to around, um, you know, 27,300, testing the Bollinger Band, uh, maybe falling back, catching some support uh, on top of the Bollinger Band, and then uh, just uh, one by one, uh, tackling these levels until we flip, uh, you know, 28,900 until we flip 29,300. Now, does that have any relevance? Well, let's put on our bullish diagonal. Wow, look at that. Look at that confluence of this location right here. So if we did bounce off of this downward channel, on our critical zone and somehow was able to just push up to the top, you know, just doing the sine wave thing inside of that downward channel, but then we were able to break out to the top of it, we would grab that mid channel, all right? We would grab that mid channel and push up and that could take us to 34, right? To $36,000 again. So again, there's, you know, I can visualize the path to that bullish 34 to 36, it's not out of reach, okay? This is just as likely as this at this point. And that's why I'm telling you guys that we have, um, we have a deadline, okay? The deadline is the two week closure. Now we could perhaps extend it a little bit past the closure. There's always some kind of weird, funny price action whenever a candle closes and then it chooses its real direction. But um, essentially we need uh, that, uh, that two week closure above, uh, you know, that just say again, 27,000. And then we might be in good shape to do the whole, uh, you know, um, the, the whole kind of trend flip to the upside and even negate this uh, little downtrend that we're starting to form here. Guys, uh, I think I don't really need to get into too many other details. Going to try to uh, just end this one right here for once. And, uh, you know, that's your alpha for the day. Stay safe and happy trading.